Hi everyone, I'm Steve VK3KTT. Just a quick video today showing you my four antennas that I use around my house. Um, it's helped me achieve seven band DXCC, probably 299 countries worked or 298. And uh, yeah, for 40 meters, 80 meters, and 160 meters. They're pretty simple antennas, but they work pretty well. So uh, great for you guys so that you can learn and uh, see something pretty basic from it's a quick look on my track at the moment. FTDX 5000, I've got a preamp for audio. That's for audio interface I can put my sound in. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Run a boom microphone. And uh, that's about it. Not much else to report. Anyway, talk to you soon from outside. Thanks. This is Steve, vk 3 KMC. Please, if you like my videos, Please like and subscribe, it'd be really helpful. And uh, to my channel, and help me grow it. So it gives you more information than three. This is the um, inverted, this is the, uh, del uh, my vertical, 40 meters. Goes all the way up there, it's 33 feet long. Got quite a few radials running off it, as you can see at various lengths and distances. To give you some idea of the height of it, 33 feet, fed with a 4 to 1 ballon, pretty simple. Notice how it's dropping into the tube there, so that tube's attached to the garden bed, and basically it's dropped in, it's not secured in, it's been dropped in there for probably two years, never been any problems with it. That pole's quite long, goes a fair way down, that gives you an idea. The next antenna we'll come to is my 80 meter dipole. You'll see one end of it here, following along the pole, going to there, and going up into that pole there. That's whatever, it's 120 feet or 40 metres long, probably 38, something like that. It's not very high, it's about 6 metres in the air, and it goes into that big tree down the back there. It's uh, an excellent antenna. Works really well for MBIS, but also I've been able to because we're at the bottom of the cycle work a lot of DX with that. Worked over 100 countries and that's been my main 80 meter antenna. Just a quick look, there's my 6 meter YU 70F foil Yagi and uh, the uh, Kushcraft 13B2 that I use for 2 meters. Right, this is the start of my delta loop for 40 meters. Note the pole mounted in the garden bed, just strapped in there. Basically, I've just used cable ties and a garden stake to hold it in there. It's not perfectly straight, but it's been enough for about two years to hold it up there. If you have a look up at the top of the pole, you'll see the top of the delta loop going there. The one corner here, it's about 15 metres across. We walk it down. I'll make a point in the elaborate box. It didn't need to be waterproof, but I prefer it too when I'm bit on the side of a, it's a Palstar Ballon. This keeps it pretty safe, one to one. And but note the release strains there, so the Delta Loops it uh, tends to be able to handle some pretty big winds. So this is the uh, 40 meter Delta Loop, and it goes back here and goes up the top there. Quite a big antenna. All right. Now, we're having a look at, and you can see, if you look carefully in the grass here, you see lots of radials, even wound up in a ball. Some of them go through to the other side, to the other side of that gate. Stretch out. This is for the 160 metre inverted L. Just wherever I can fit the radials in. I actually pull these ones up when I cut the grass. Because I find that easier. This long bit, three core electrical wire goes all the way out and I've got quite a few that go in that direction, a couple that go over in that direction there. Okay, this is fed really simply, it's actually come off the mounting point. An Unandilla one-to-one bowl and there's my massive radial wires. They're just tacked on it however I could. All going to a central radial plate and then they go back up to their the bolts. Pretty simple, it's about 36 to 40 metres long, depending, it'll vary where you want it on the band. 
comes down here. This is the wire for the radiator. That goes all the way up. It bent, see it's even touching the uh, even touching the other element. Goes all the way up to the top. Goes across and ends up in the tree over there. Not easy to see. But the more interesting point is having a look at how I mount it. So there's a 43 foot vertical up pole. Use concrete base. Notice I've insulated the bottom of it because initially I was going to run a 43 foot vertical. And I was using the rubber pieces to insulate it from these rubber pieces to insulate it from the mounting frames. And uh, if you just hang on, I'll step up here. I can actually see this. People. So that's how I've mounted it to the aluminium plate. I picked that up from an aluminium supplier. Um, just drilled it using boom to mask brackets. And yeah, it's pretty thick though. And that's been really, really solid. I made other stuff off here. Um, I also have wire radials going across the roof. They're pretty low key, not many people see them. But uh, this gives you that extra little bit. Antennas, you know, we quite 22 countries on 160. I'm heard really well all around Australia. That's it, it's a um, pretty basic setup. So I used to feed the 160, the 160 inverted L direct fed, then use a coax choke. Um, had problems with connectors actually, and we just had a big contest this weekend where I was going to use 160, so I just hooked up the one to one ballon down at Dilla, but it was fine. Worked at all states of Australia. Haven't even laid out all the radials, but the SWR is about 1.3, 1.5 to 1. Most of the band, the 160 metre band this way is pretty tight, so it's. Uh, it's uh, 1800 to 1875. Um, some of the other things that we have here. You have a look up the top there. This could be made we'll go through all of them. That's my TED Mtron TE43. Uh, it's a tri bander, and in the middle there you'll see a single element. It doesn't have any traps on it. That's just a a 12 meter uh, dipole just to cover 12 meters. The T43 has been the T43 has been an excellent antenna for me. I've worked uh, a lot of countries on it, but you know, uh, two, probably 260, 270 countries. I think about 260 on 20 meters alone. 268 on 20 meters worked. So uh, been the key to me working a lot of the eggs. Not so much at this time of the year cycle but uh, more all the way leading through the high bands of 197 or something worked on 10 metres, similar number on 15 and uh, as I said 200 on uh, 20 metres. Very robust, that antenna has been up for 80 years, it uh, works very very well. Keeps everything uh, going. So as you can see, it's not complex in how I use things. It's simple, easy to gather stuff that I've collected over the years Oh, quite an aluminium pile if you have a look over here and just simple ideas like this see this pole basically held in there it's got a rope holding it down but the back of shed but I just drop it into that literally comes out of there not secured anywhere else been up there for months or well, years actually then I've got the uh, 80 meter dipole tends to do a really good job as well so not complex, nothing too fancy, no black magic here. No magical um, we're learning about indictance and in um, induction and capacitance, all those things. It's all pretty simple. All fairly resonant antennas. Um, delta loops about 1.1 to 1.5 to 1. Of course, most of the bands, the 160 verticals under 2 to 1 most parts of the band and the A-meter is probably for about 100 kilohertz is uh, pretty good uh, bandwidth and I've got that sent around FT8 and CW. I can tune it up but it's over 3 to 1 in the DX window so I don't go up there very often but I can if need be. Um, 
So my answer to you is, is you don't need anything flash, you don't need to spend a lot of time, you don't need to have a lot of radials down. The 160 meter probably got 15 radials down, but they're all pretty well hidden. They're all easy to pull up. So even if you only can have it up for a couple of months of the year, that's fine. Just you know, in the northern hemisphere winter, put your radials down and, uh, and then bring them up in the summertime. Maybe have a couple of core cool ones that you bury properly if you want to keep the antenna up. But note how that was mounted to that pole. That really has saved me a lot of time and a lot of effort. It just means I've got something really solid there. No guy wires above it. If you have a look from here, you can see there's no guy wires holding it up. It's just straight up. I could probably put a little vertical up the top if I really wanted to as well. The next, my next plan is um, to consider is to put some more. I've got some tube from a, a Ciro CB antenna. I'm making them possibly take out the vertical length to, to 18 meters, and then have a vertical for 80 meters. But that's down the track. Anyway, semi threads. Hope you enjoyed the uh, tour. Give you an idea of what it takes. How so you can get to the, the top of the climbing up the DX ladder. Work 300 countries, so. DXCC on seven bands, um, with simple antennas in a home, a lot of com commitment to time and uh, operating. That's the main thing. TV3, have a good day. This is VK3 KT. If you really liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and hopefully, more content coming your way soon. TV3, have fun.